Hey guys, welcome to part 14 of my discord.py making a discord bot in Python tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over queues um, and essentially what the queue is is it's going to allow your music bot to play sort of the next song that you have stored in a queue um, as soon as the first song is ended. Uh, pretty straightforward. I wouldn't say it's too complicated. It is a little bit tricky, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Also keep in mind there are many ways to do this. This is just the way I do it because it's super straightforward. Um, there may be better ways. This may be the worst way, but uh, this is a way. So if you guys know a better way, be sure to let me know because I highly doubt this is optimal. But it works, so why not? Um, so before we start getting into our command, actually let's just create sort of the header. So we're going to pass context async def q. Also for this uh, for this uh, tutorial I'm going to be creating a q command um, it, and that's not to say that you couldn't incorporate queues into your play command so that if you kept doing dot play um, many URLs like over and over I mean the whole command um, it would automatically queue it if something's already playing that's totally possible and I've done it before but I'm just sort of creating this um, q command just to illustrate um, sort of what the core of the queue, uh, the, the code. To illustrate the core of the queue code, that was really weird to say, um, more clearly. You'll see what I mean. It'll, I think it'll just be a bit easier to understand if it's in its own function, but uh, to each their own. So before we get into this command, we're just going to go up here with our players and we're going to create queues, another, whoops, a dictionary. Um, and it's going to act similarly to the player's dictionary where we're just going to store a bunch of queues um, and access them using a server ID as the key. So we've created that. So all we're going to want to do is we're just going to go to our command. Oops. And we're just going to first get the server. Very important. So server is equal to ctx.message.server. We're going to want to access the voice client that the um, the bot is already in. Now, keep in mind again, I'm not going to go over every single possible situation where um, where the bot uh, could may or may not have a active voice client in the server. This is assuming that the bot is already in a um, in a channel. So essentially, this command would be sort of the third in the sense that you would have to use dot join dot play and then queue something. All right, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to get our voice client. Whoops. So that is client dot voice client. Whoops. In, just like that. And we're going to pass in the server. Um, and now what we're going to want to do is create our player. So await. Nope, not client. Voice client. Create ytdl player and we're going to pass in the URL. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sort of um, create our queue. Now if you remember back in the play command all we had to do was set an active player. That's not quite how this queue up here is going to work. This dictionary is going to hold multiple lists and each list will contain all of the, all of the uh, players. So how we're going to do it is we're just going to create an if statement. So if server ID is in queues, meaning if there's an existing queue, queues with the key server ID, so we're going to access this server's queue, um, we will add to the end of it the player. Excuse me. So all that line has done is set, or all this if statement has done so far is if there is an existing queue, uh, put the player at the end of the queue. That's it. Um, and then all we're going to want to do if there isn't an existing queue, so else, queues server ID, we're just going to want to sort of create our list with the player being the first item. So we're going to say create an empty list and then throw the player in as the only um, element in the list. And then we could put even a little message, wait client that say, I don't know, video queued, something like that. 
Um, so there's that, but we need a way to check the queue um, after a song has ended. Because right now, all we can do is queue up a player and, um, and, and store them. There, we have no way of actually playing the next um, song in the queue. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create sort of a little helper function. Uh, I'll just make it up here. So we're going to just say def, I don't know, check queues or queue. And we're going to pass in the server ID. And we'll just say if queues, oh no, not server ID, just ID, is not empty, meaning if there is something in the queue, we're going to access the player. So we're going to, geez. So queues with the key ID. We're just going to pop off the first player, right? So if you don't know what the pop function does, it allows you to remove an item from a list. Um, and you can, by default, it'll pop off the last item in a list. But since I've passed in zero, um, it'll pop off the item at the zeroth index, which is the first item in the list, um, aka the next player. So we now have that player, and we're just going to say player.start. Oh, and we also want to say uh, players, nope, not server ID, <laughs> is equal to player, just like that. So now we access the next player, we've updated our current server player, and we've started the player. And now the last thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to call this function when the song or when the player is done playing. So this is done by setting an after sort of function in our player. And it's essentially, it will call a function after, um, after the player is done. Uh, now you might be tempted to say, okay, well, we can just say check Q server ID, right? Pass that in, run the command, great. And yes, that works. But that unfortunately doesn't make the function run after the song is ended. That makes that function run after this line of code has run, which is not what we want. So if you check the API, you can actually see that if you want to make the after function run after the player is done playing, you just say lambda colon, and then you have your, your function name. So just this line right here makes that function run after the song has ended. And we're just going to put that down here, just like that. So now what we have is our queue system, this will, or our queue command, which will allow us to queue up audio. Um, we've now modified our play command so that once the song has ended, it will run this check queue function. And the check queue function, as we went over, checks if there is an existing song in the queue. If there is, it pops it off out of the queue and plays it right away. Um, and of course, that only runs afterwards. And we've stored our queue. Uh, everything's looking good. I think we're ready to run it. Open in browser. All right, bot online. Let's go over here. Oh, I got some messages. Uh, and let me just get my entropy thing song from uh, whatever, YouTube. So we're just going to say, oh, I need to be in here. Almost forgot. So dot join dot play. All right, it's working. Yep, it's playing. And now we're just going to say Q, just like that. So as you can see in the console, the console downloaded. OK, I don't know how loud that was, but I'll just say it again. Um, so as you can see in the console, the console has downloaded this next audio and thrown it in the queue. Um, and so once this song has ended, um, it should, in theory, play the song again just because I've queued up the song again. Um, but the song is like three minutes long, so I'm actually just going to cut to the end. Um, so I'll see you then. All right, song's ending, and the next song should be playing right about. There you go. So just like that, the song's playing again. The next song, as you can hear, it restarted. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever all those people say or what I've been saying. 
um, and leave suggestions for the next couple of videos because the music bot mini tutorial has ended. So, okay, I'm turning this back down. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just a quick side note, guys. Uh, I forgot to mention this in the video, but I'm getting like a billion private messages now. Okay, I'm obviously exaggerating, but it's a lot to sort of get to each one of them and try to answer them as best I can, or just say sorry, dude, I can't help you. Um, but I am now, I have now created a sort of Discord help server. Uh, I've put the um, invite URL in the description below, and I've updated all of my previous videos to have the Discord URL. So uh, be sure to join that. You can ask there. It's just easier on me because I now have one big place where I can answer everyone's question, or someone else on the server might be able to answer your question for you, and then I don't necessarily have to do it. But I feel like it's just easier, and I would encourage you to just go there and ask for help there. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video for real now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.